morning guys welcome to today's video it is a bad day started out really rough it's a bad day and i'm going to explain but first of all i want to show you guys actually i shouldn't show you until i have it all completely set up i want to clean up my trunk completely today plan it all out these are the things that i carry my groceries in but i have been filling up this little station in my car with all of our important things that we use from barn to barn like i use my shedding gloves here and at the other barn now i just need to buy another pair also have my little wagon i have a feed pan i don't know why i have that but my plan is to set the back of our truck up into this big huge traveling tack thing it is another dark and dreary rainy day we were hoping to go to the barn today but we're not it's just too much mud and rain and yuck when you're dealing with horses there's definitely been a lot of confusion oh hi handsome oh i'm gonna go give him his go make sure he's got lots of food there i love my cat i know we hardly get to see him but he's so cute orange cats well boy cats even though he's neutered are always on the prowl huh Always on the prowl. Penny just goes right over to her spot. So uh, there seems to be like a ton of confusion about us putting our horses out on grass. And I noticed that a lot of that confusion comes from, from people who don't have the same experience as us. Oh, I need to go to the store and get cat food today. We're out of cat food. All right, I was on my list. I have a big list. So anyways, when our horses were at the last barn, they were out on grass 24 seven. They were out in a paddock. They were out on a big field because it was just the eaten down small grass and they still were fed hay. If you're still feeding your horses hay as well as them being out on grass or out on the paddock. That's not what we do. We feed our horses hay in the field in a big, huge, lush field filled with hay and then they don't get hay out there as well no horse could survive in a big huge lush field for very long none no horse it wouldn't take very long before they would all founder and they would all be eating their way to heaven on the kind of field that we put our horses in so yeah absolutely horses should always be out in a big huge paddock and a big huge field of grass or hay if it looks like this or less than this actually. Where we put our horses, obviously nobody would put, nobody in their right mind would ever leave their horse on our pasture 24 seven. It's just too rich, too lush, too thick, and just too much. Another thing that a lot of people are confused by is that we feed inside often if, it's, if the weather's bad. Not inside, like they're not stuck in the stall or anything. They have access to go inside or out, we let them choose. But the only way that we're able to preserve our fields and be able to use it for food is by maintaining the fields and maintaining the fields is difficult when the ground is soft when the ground is soft and you put your horses out there and they get running around or even every stop every step the ground just sinks in and it just destroys the ground so we also feed them not on the fields when the ground is soft and the weather is bad because that's how we preserve our fields we learned a lot of this from a lot of you guys like mel bowell i don't know if she still watches she used to really teach us so much about like maintaining our fields and 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 our hay and preserving our horse's health but also extremely important is our vet who's very strict about how much and when and how we feed our horses so we listen to him as well so on days like this our horses are often fed inside or outside just in the winter paddock so that we can maintain their health and our fields. All right, we are almost done chores this morning and I want to tell you about Sophie jumping. Actually, Ch Chino and Chance were did, did amazing yesterday. Chino did so good. Chino did so good yesterday. I feel like we figured Chino out. It took us three years, two and a half years. I think two and a half years and we figured him out. Took us that long, but we never gave up until we figured him out. Dang it. Dang it. One, two, three, go! We'll be back, ponies. It's a pony day. We'll be back to play with you and brush you. I brought you a mushroom. Wow, since I've been drinking mushrooms in my coffee, you decided to get me a mushroom? No, I found it. 
Wow, that's huge. I don't know if it's the safe kind to eat. Yeah, I don't know either, but look at all the rains made it so soft. Are you gonna eat it? No, I'm soup? not gonna eat that. Ew, I don't even know what would happen to us if we ate that. We broke it. I know, it's so soft. Daisy our... wants it, so do the other dogs. They're like, let me eat it! I can't believe we let the dogs outside today in the morning to run. Hey, my dog's not that muddy. <laughs> look at my dog's feet compared to Ruby's feet. Yeah, this dog never gets muddy. She's so cautious. Yeah, I know, it's really neat. Cute. They were they were like, let me eat it! Don't let them Smell eat it. it. I don't know if it's good for them. Smell it only. Smell it. Smell it. <laughs> 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 she really is such a funny smell dog. Smell it. Smell it. Good girl. Good smell girl. it. She only smells it. Hey, Daisy, you smell it. So Daisy's like... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to post Sophie's riding video tonight or if I'm going to post Gabby's. Do you want me to post yours? I found three. Do you want me to post your riding video? Yes. Yeah, so People are going to judge you, though. I don't care. They're going to say you're too big for him. He's too skinny to jump. They're going to say... And I'm going to say it's not your opinion that matters. So uh, basically, our chiropractor here, was here last week. She said he is a great weight, that lots of young horses like that are on the leaner side, and he's an athlete, and that a lot of um, horse people think that horses should be only look good when they're overweight, and that there's a, such a fine line between perfectly, like a perfect weight and, uh, and overweight. Or chance is not a big deal at all. So she says, get out there and ride him, and so if he has been riding him, get out there and make him build that boy some muscles. He had energy this ride, but yeah. um, he got lazy pretty fast. I find that Until when- Until we started jumping, then he had energy. Yeah, like, so he likes to jump. He definitely likes to jump. Does he like to jump? Yeah, he like, they're going around. He gets bored. He's out there riding around in circles and he sees that jump and his ears just perk forward and then she squeezes him just before the jump and his ears go back to show he's listening to her and then over that jump he goes and it's only the second real time she's jumped him, right? The second time? She jumped him like third this. The third time. The third time she jumped him a bit when she was trying him, trialing him to see, you know, if he would be okay how he would handle jumping and you do you like jumping him yeah how do you feel about his jump um he didn't spook as a cow jump and yeah so he jumped him over a cow jump yeah he's scared of cows yeah well he used to be scared of cows so he still is if he was right beside a cow he would be freaking out mm -hmm. freaking out means just standing stock still with his ears forward maybe just like backing up trying to get away from it so anyway, we like love him. So what I find different about him is that he's really snuggly, like so snuggly. Like people walk into our barn and they walk over to him and he's like, oh, hello. And he thinks they're just there for him. And he just is slow and cuddles into them like I've never seen before. And all he's- the, All the other dogs went up and Daisy's still here. <laughs> yeah, she's like, my girl is here. So he's super sensitive in terms of he's like, He's sweet and loving and he loves Sophie like it's so evident already that he likes her Definitely, there's an element of oh, this is the girl that's never gonna make me do too much <laughs> So that'll have to change and that is changing But the last thing I wanted to say to you guys is that how do you guys think Sophie is gonna be training this horse on her own? Bringing him up on her own and that is totally not the case gonna ride Yeah, and not only will she have training rides on this horse um, she is in a lesson program and he loves the lesson program. The more horses in that arena with him, the better. He loves it and he's so used to the lesson program. He just goes around and does what every other horse does. It's like he's been born to that life. And having the trainer teach her to train him. Like it's not just Sophie out there riding this horse. It's in lessons. It's in lessons so often. And that is how train. That is how Finn got trained to jump. And that is how Chance will be cha trained. That's how most horses that belong to kids get trained. It's not just Sophie out there riding him on her own trying to train him. Brandon is teaching her how to help him to be his best. And telling her what to do every step of the way. So it's been amazing so far. It's we're a couple months in now and it has just been amazing. Has it only just been amazing? Yeah, and um, we ride three times a week, so twice in lessons, um, one by ourselves. Yeah, and sometimes she rides other horses though, yeah. which also teaches her. So anyway, it's just been a joy having this horse. Just absolute utter 
joy. So we're headed to pick up Sam for a catastrophic reason. Something really bad happened today when he went to work and we're gonna tell you guys right now. We're just gonna pick him up. I'm gonna Don't let... worry, he's not hurt. He's not hurt, he didn't get hurt. Something bad happened that could jeopardize Gabby's show season. Could jeopardize Gabby's hey, show season. Mine? No, you're good. But here's the thing. Whenever something happens and it seems like it's really bad, like the worst thing that could happen, there's always a bigger plan. There's always an ultimate higher plan. And even though we can't see it, we don't know what's gonna happen. We have to always believe and trust that God knows that this is where you need to be right now and this is what's right for you, even though it will suck if Gabby doesn't get to show at Trillium for the rest of this year. We got Sam. Sam is in the car. Sam, tell them what happened before you start the car. Well, I was sitting at work. And then I get a phone call. And they said, is this Sam? I said, yep. Yeah. Did you think and it was a fan? I didn't know who it was. I'm like, it's so early in the morning. Who would be calling me this early in the morning? I never get phone calls at work. And then they said, do you have your truck parked outside the building? I said, yep. Yeah. I said, well, the firefighters are there and it's on fire. And I said, what? I said, yeah, you need to come out. You need to come out. The police need to talk to you. I'm like, okay. So I go out and my truck's on fire. Uh, actually, it was put out by the time I got there. And here's a picture of all the firefighters surrounding my truck. And because they didn't wait for me, they busted through the front of the grill, ripped it all off to open up the hood so they can put out the fire. Oh, I thought they broke a window. Well, that's what it looks like. Wow. <laughs> Instead of breaking a window, they broke that. That was a nice grill. Well, yeah, now at least I get a new grill. Yeah, but didn't you buy that grill special? No, that came with the truck. Oh. And now it's all yellow. Yellow. Why is it all yellow? It's the fire extinguisher puts powder on electrical fires, right? So it's... And it was still smoking by the time I left. I was like, something's wrong. Let's disconnect the batteries. <laughs> so we disconnected all the batteries because it was still smoking. And yeah. So what does Long this mean? Story short, that means uh, I can't move any horses anywhere. I have to cut my own hay because I can't get any hay. So yeah, when you're like a horse owner, little things like that or big things like that affect every single aspect of your life. So yeah, I guess it's almost time to cut hay. Time to cut hay. <laughs> Two weeks before they might get it fixed. So he's gonna have to get something a uh, rental because if he doesn't have a truck for two weeks then for two weeks i'm gonna have to either drive him to work at six o'clock in the morning or i'm gonna have to let him use my car and yeah i don't want that but if he uses my car we then we can't go to the barn and see our horses so it's just a big huge disaster so i don't know what's gonna happen but anyway sam's car we go to the truck. next level of shows yeah we'll go to the next level of shows to the beginning with days yeah, that's our goal for next year, Sam. Don't keep pushing us ahead here. We can practice now. Yeah. But we can't go to A's because we have no truck. Rent a truck and pull yeah. a smaller horse truck. Sophie just found something that she wants for Daisy. And you put it in the freezer with the stuff on it. It's a and lick mat. You have to lick it. It's a lick mat. You put stuff on it. Oh, that's weird. I don't... She is a licker, though. I just broke it. Oops, put it back. Put it back. Shoot. Ah! So anyway, we're here buying animal food. Like, we're always buying animal food. And Sophie and I see the little budgies again. I love birds. Like, they're just beautiful. You're just beautiful. I don't know. The only thing is, I don't feel comfortable bringing little pets like this into our house when we have dogs. Like our dogs are cr wow. That was rude. Fighting. Ah uh, no, I do like them a lot though. We've just rehomed all of our baby chicks that we hatched. So we rehomed all of our baby chicks. Life is so much easier right now. Look at that one. It's so pretty. Look, there's one with yellow wings. Well, yellow on the end. Oh the yeah, and then that bright that green one. Look left. at that bright green one. That is so adorable. I love that one. I know. I like the blue one too. Apparently, Walmart has a whole new fresh supply of squishmallows. Oh, that's cute. This is 
All right, so Sam has been dragged out doing something that's not my favorite thing. He wants to look at a new truck because his truck blew up today. So I don't like that one. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. This one's not bad. Oh, this little one. And this one's not bad. But this is a 1500 and ours is like a 3200. I don't like to go backwards. I don't really like this one. I mean, this would be great for Gabby. Sam and Gabby have... You want something cheaper on gas? Big truck oh, yeah. So we're keeping our truck? Yeah. Oh, so you just want something smaller? Smaller to drive to work. All right. Well, this is cute. What do you guys think of this little tiny truck? So Sam and Gabby have been like searching for her dream vehicle because in a year she's going to be able to start driving. But why does it have to pull something if you still are going to keep your truck? Just in case you need to pull a boat or a horse oh. trailer, a small horse trailer. Yeah, okay. I think we should get a small horse trailer for I want to get a small horse trailer. All right, well, this is cute. I mean, it's gray. Gabby wants a Chevrolet. This is perfect for Gabby. Yeah, this one's better. I like white. This is a Tacoma. Lower kilometers. It's cute. It's cute. I like it. Look, you can have a swimming pool in the back. Low kilometers. Cute little truck. It's cute. And then we could give it to Gabby. I like it. Gabby can have it. And yeah, nice. and then Gabby can have it. I like it. Gabby should have came. I know. I told her to come. That's a cute one. Gabby definitely wants a truck. She's not like a little car girl. Come on, Penny Pickle. Come on. Well, hello there, fancy girl. Look at how shiny your butt is. It's time for lunch. Time for lunch. Uh-oh. You ready? Look at They're doing so good. They're on grass so much and they're doing so good. Don't run. It's wet out here. <laughs> She's like, don't worry, Laura. I'm not going far. <laughs> Bossy Willow. Look at Willow's Sophie, Willow's tail needs to be cut again. Don't you know that you're beautiful?